Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue with reading Psalms. Uh, I'm going to read Psalm 99. I will finish Psalm 98 in last, the previous video, so I'm going to read Psalm 99. I'm going to read it. The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and he, the decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. So this is Psalm 99. Um, again, we do not know the author. We do not know the circumstances. We do not know the time when this psalm was com uh, composed. Um, but in general, the tone is praise, the, the God, um, the only, the one and only, the wonderful, brought, who brought the justice to Jacob, according to this. So this is, uh, of course, on top of that is the faith. Uh, so the Lord reigns, let the nations tremble. He sits, he sits enthroned between the cherubim, let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesomeness, awesome name. He is holy. So this is not just a praise and a calling, calling the nations and all to praise him. He is the one who dwelling on the mountain of Zion. And uh, he sits enthroned between the cherubim and let the earth shake and um, so calling for everybody, let them praise your great and awesomeness. He is holy. So he is holy, so let all the people to praise him. The king is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. So again, emphasize he is holy. Um, um, means he's the mighty, he's the justice, he um, have done just and right for Jacob. And uh, so calling everybody, please worship uh, for this God at his footstool because he's holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. So I start from uh, Moses and Aaron um, after Jacob. So they are the chosen priests, and Samuel, another uh, uh, priest, among them who called on his name. They all the priests uh, with faith, and um, they called on Lord, and He answered them. So these are the uh, these are the priests with callings from God, and uh, um, and He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud, from the sky, and kept the, His statutes and the decrees gave them. So they uh, this God gave um, Aaron, Moses, and also Samuel the decrees, like the Ten Commandments, and Samuel choose the king for the Israel. So, O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their uh, misdeeds. 
even though they are not uh, they are not perfect they have misdeeds they had misdeeds according to here but the God still uh, watching them and protect them and answering them um, so the God is a forgiving God exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain for the Lord our God is holy again emphasize the the holiness, the sovereign of this God they believe, calling for everybody uh, to worship because he's great, not only great, and he's forgiven. Um, so this is uh, Psalm 99. It uh, was quite uh, not very long, um, quite straightforward, just to uh, emphasize that God is sovereign and holy and praise his wonderful deed to the chosen one from the beginning uh, the mountain Zion, the Jacob, uh, bring the justice to Jacob, and then chosen Moses, Aaron, and Samuel, and uh, uh, establish the decrees with them. So they calling for the God call, or uh, called these priests, and at the same time these people, who have the uh, has the capacity to hearing the calling and to answer the calling to lead the people. To establish and follow the decree, so this is then again uh, ask for uh, all the Israels to worship this God because He's not only the uh, sovereign God, also the forgiving God. Because emphasize, I uh, mentioned none of those priests previously uh, were perfect; they had misdeeds, but this God continuously to forgive them, to guide them, to uh, bless them. So this is uh, Psalm 99. Uh, from the Psalm 99, we see the the real again. Even though there is no anguish or agony, but still the real from um, counting the Jacob and also the the footprints of Jacob, uh, Moses, Aaron, and Samuel emphasize the this uh, the misdeeds of human at the same time emphasize the calling from the God and uh, the decrease. Between two, uh, between the God and the people, so that's the real part, and also on top of that is the the strong faith. Believe that this God is not only the the God of sovereign, also the God of forgiving. So I'm going to stop here, and uh, you can uh, read and interpret in your own way. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.